I wanted the main character to be a foreigner. I thought it was important to have someone from the outside uh, brought into the Russian court. That, I thought initially, was going to be difficult. Um, but it turned out that the Tsar himself had, to some degree, a mistrust of his own people. And that one of his most trusted regiments was a group called the Chevalier Guard, who were people traditionally um, taken in from uh, from the northern, what at that time was a dependency, and that's Finland. Finland was once a colony of Russia. It, it fell into place pretty naturally. Um, I'm skipping over some pretty important pieces of history, such as the the, uh, the Chevalier Guard being dissolved. But um, in, I think it was 1904. But the important thing is that there was ready access to the idea of an outsider, um, not an intruder so much, but someone whom the Tsar could trust perhaps even more than his own people. That was the important thing. The other important thing about choosing um, not just an outsider, but a Finnish outsider, is that the Russians have, I wouldn't call it a love-hate uh, relationship with the Finns, but they have a mythological respect for the Finns. If you read old Finnish fairy tales, there is almost always a Finn tucked away in there somewhere, someone who appears out of the forest and disappears and can cast spells and can change the weather. The, to the Russians, the Finns are and have always been a people possessed of magic. Um, perhaps um, that magic was was in, was. No, no more strongly put to the test than in the Russo-Finnish War of 1940, where an extraordinary, I think it was two and a half million Russians, were hurled at the far smaller Finnish army, only to be uh, stopped dead in its tracks by the tactics of the Finns, who knew so well how to move in that frozen landscape. And they mauled the Russians. They ground the Russian army to a standstill. If you look at the geographical sizes of these countries, uh, uh, equivalent would be, Finland would practically be about the size of my thumbnail compared to the vastness of Russia. So uh, that was all, or is all, in the future for Pakala. Um, but the idea that the Tsar might have chosen someone possessed, at least in a mythological sense, of something more than just the natural abilities uh, of the detective turned out, once I got writing, to be a choice that I, I certainly haven't had cause to regret yet.